Rock Wars Worldwide. Welcome to the Revolution. Greetings, Rock Warriors, and welcome to the Revolution. This is a very special episode of Rock Wars TV. Not only is it our 2020 Grand Championship, but I also have a very special co-host that's going to uh, help me introduce the bands. It's uh, the queen of Australian rock and roll, Miss Carly Jewell. Hey there, rock and rollers. Carly here from Melbourne, Australia. Firstly, I really want to thank you, Sean, for having me a part of this and um, everything you do with Rock Wars is amazing. It's a, it's a world platform, you know, for artists to meet each other. So I really hope everybody gets behind this, starts voting for their favorite bands, and let's see where it takes them. We have 12 great bands, all champions, and they're basically vying for the title of Grand Champions of Rock Wars for 2020. And the way that it's going to work is I'm going to post this video to YouTube, not just on, uh, you know, Roku and Apple TV and stuff. It'll actually be on YouTube on the first and the bands will share it on social media. And in order to vote, what they're going to do is they're going to actually comment the band that they want to win's name in the comment section, because we're going to be running two different competitions, uh, Going to be our normal September composition, and that's going to be done exactly the way it's always done, you know. So, in order to make it less confusing, we're going to do this as one TV show, and all the voting will be done in the comments. So, the first band that we have is the band that just won, Brad Cook, a fellow Aussie. And I know you have a somewhat of a relationship because you guys use the same studio. and what are your uh, your thoughts on Mr. Cook and his band? Okay, Brad Cook, Planet of Love. Now, this was a really cool video, um, very well written. Uh, blues, rock sound, a sound we're all really familiar with, but he's definitely taken this sound and made it a signature sound of his own. So if you heard um, that sound, you definitely know it was a Brad Cook song. Um, also, you know, he did a, his EP, Time to Fly, Another standout track on that for me was Dance on Fire. So, uh, you know, also with all of these artists that are a part of Rock Wars, um, make sure you check out their, their band pages, jump on their social medias because they have so much content that, you know, you can discover and it's just amazing and it's a worldwide thing, um, great way to connect. And so Brad Cook, Planet of Love, I absolutely loved it. I was very proud, Melbourne, Australia, and I can't wait to see more from Brad. Yeah, he did a great job. I love the song. Um, the song that he's going to be using uh, for the Grand Championship is an equally good song. It's called Shake It. I don't know what's going to be up next. Hey, everyone. My name's Brad Cook. I have an EP out at the moment called Time to Fly. And this is my latest single from it called Shake It on Rock Wars TV.
The next band is uh, Lords of Salem. They're from Germany, and their song is called Rock and Roll Machine. A uh, really cool band. Like, uh, just their whole look, their whole sound, it all reminds me of back in, like, the 80s, like, hair bands, Molly Crew, uh, Def Leppard, that kind of thing. But they got, like, kind of a goth-type feel to them as well. Uh, what do you think of them guys? Okay, so Lords of Salem from Germany. Um, their track Rock and Roll Machine, um, when it starts, it's like straight into a killer catchy riff. So I really like that. Uh, lots of rock, punk, even some like goth metal vibes I got. I think they're really cool. And I definitely can't wait to see more from these guys. Welcome to work, welcome to the best for the rest. Please vote for Lords of Salem. Have a good time and see you soon. Bye.
Russia, the blood dealers with their song Go Baby Go. That was like a fun video. I like they had the sort of like the Dukes of Hazard theme car that they put in it. And, you know, it was just it was really kind of a fun video. But they, those guys they have some rock and roll chops to go with their uh, their comedy. Okay, so Blood Dealers from Russia, uh, their video, their track Go oh Baby Go was outstanding. Um, one of my favorite bands that I've discovered on um, Rock Wars. Yeah, just a great video, great energy. The vocals are in point. Um, he actually reminds me of a young Sebastian Bach, and I think these guys are going to go far and do massive things. So make sure you get behind these guys.
Now the next band uh, is from Germany as well. Uh, they're called Bouncing Betty. Those guys just blow me away. They're they're such a good band and such a good group of guys. Like like they're they're amazing. Uh, okay, so Bouncing Betty for me have been one of my favorites since I discovered Rock Wars. Um, all their videos are amazing. This one was amazing. Um, I love their other tracks too. Why and it comes alive. It's just like great energy. The minute they start playing, I'm like instantly drawn. Their tracks are well written. And yeah, uh, definitely going to jump on a plane for these guys and go watch them rock out somewhere. Um, yeah, I really love them. And, you know, I think they, they could even be the champions of the champions. Um, they're, you know, everybody's amazing. But I definitely, I love these guys. You walk a dangerous line Holding a loaded gun It's just a matter of time Before you hurt someone Betty here. If you liked what you saw and heard, just comment our band name below and we will take home the crown. Thanks a lot, guys. Champion Zeoff. Those guys really, really blew me away. Like uh, their song Born in Asia, it's just, it's such a good song. And the video is so cool with all the motorcycles and all this, the Russian scenery with the mountains and I, I love that band. Um, any thoughts on Zio? Okay, um, Born in Osatia, what a video, open roads. Um, I think these guys are going to be huge. Um, it was very blues, rock, like it's just a great track. Uh, feeling a lot of uh, Richie Sambora vibes in there, so I really like that, that sound and that feeling. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see more from these guys.
April champion. These kids are just amazing. The drummer's 12, the bass player's 13, and the lead guitar player and singer is 15. Um, they've already won uh, Elephant Indie Music Awards. They've won other Battle of the Bands competitions. Um, they just blew me away because I was playing bass at 12 and I was nowhere near at the level that these kids are at. They're, they're just amazing. Um, what do you think of them guys? Okay. So age of awe, wings of steel. Absolutely loved it. Um, like these guys being 12, 13 and 15 is just amazing. Um, so I'm really excited to see their journey and, you know, see where this takes them. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to see, um, how they go.
champion Zenora. Uh, their video center, very fun video. Another band that reminds me of, you know, the eighties with like, uh, they remind me a lot of like a Van Halen, um, like band, like the front man Dylan is great. And their bass player, I got to tell you of all the rock wars bands that I've seen, that guy just blows me away. Like he's got such an interesting sound on bass. Okay. So Zenora with their track, Sino, um, that was a great track, very rock, um, well written. Another band I would really love to see live. The bridge in this song was very blues rock. Um, I really liked it, and um, yeah, I can't wait to see more from this band as well.
our January champions, Raging Oak from Greece. Those guys are definitely very blues um, influenced. They have a really, really bluesy sound, and they're all exceptional um, musicians. Uh, what was your take on on uh, Raging Oak? Okay, so we have Raging Ode, Perfect Disguise. For me, it was a cool track. Um, these guys are a blues, rock, funk kind of band, so i definitely feeling all those vibes in there. But um, overall, it was a great track, and um, I really can't wait to see more from these guys and um, check out their whole album. <laughs>
awesome. Um, now, our December champions, anybody that's really familiar with Rock Wars knows that they have a special place in my heart. Um, they blew me away the first time I seen them. I couldn't believe that they weren't actually headlining already somewhere or at least opening in an arena. Um, they're just such a talented band. And uh, their video that they, they came up with for this uh, championship to me, just one more in a stream of amazing tunes. Um, what do you think of uh, Elevation Falls? Okay, so what can I say about these guys? I absolutely love them. Um, Hazel Jade is a powerhouse. Uh, definitely inspiring as a vocalist. Um, she can scream. Like, she's straight up rock and roll. I love, yeah, I love their sound. Um, her singing, the band playing, put it together. It's, it's amazing. They're definitely, like, world class, and they are going to go worldwide. Um, you know, very edgy. Um, hard rock. I, I loved it so much. Um, definitely their biggest fan here in Australia. So um, get behind these guys. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see more from them. Hey guys, this is Hazel Jade from Elevation Falls. I'm here to introduce a brand new song called Are You Ready? Uh, premiering here on Rock Wars. Um, I'd really love it if you guys could maybe consider voting for my bands during uh, the competition. It would mean a lot, especially if you really like this new song. Um, thanks everybody and I hope you enjoy it.
and uh, from England, our November champions, uh, Religion of Tomorrow, uh, the video that they won with was called No Protocol, and it actually reminded me of the grunge singing with uh, like Nirvana and, you know, bands like that, and it had that cool grungy feel to it. And uh, their video that they just uh, gave us for this competition, um, Winter, also another great tune. Um, I love the way the video was shot. It's outside by a lake. And, you know, it, it was just a really cool cine, cinema type uh, video. And our October Halloween Havoc uh, champions got fire. They're from uh, Spain. Great song. 
love Irene's voice. Um, those guys have influences uh, from like ACDC, the Ramones, um, just a really cool sound that they have. Um, what are your thoughts on Got Fire? Hey, sorry. Got Fire, Spain, female fronted, um, amazing uh, vocals. I um, really loved it. Very classic rock. So it's definitely something I'm into. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see more from these guys. And last but not least, our first champions, New Dog Cruiser. They're also from Melbourne, Australia, your neck of the woods. Um, they're a cover band. The uh, song that they're doing is A Long Way to the Top, If You Want to Rock. Um, great song, one of my favorite ACDC songs. Um, what's your take on Blue Dog Cruisers? 
Okay, another Australian band straight out of Melbourne, Blue Dog Cruiser, classic rock cover band. Um, I have actually seen these guys more than once. Um, they definitely get the crowd going. Uh, they deliver these well. They play these songs like their own, you know, with such feeling and passion for what they do. Um, their cover, Long Way to the Top, was great. Um, they really delivered it well. Uh, I know Chris personally, and, um, you know, it's how I discovered Rock Wars and got to meet Sean. So um, I'm forever grateful for that. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to see them live. If ever you come to Australia, it's definitely a cover band you guys need to go and see.